so hi friends uh, this is session number 14 uh, using bcp utility uh, to introduce bcp this utility was developed by sybase and used by uh, microsoft sql server as well as sybase asc and uh, the most important point about the bcp utility is uh, it is good for bulk programs bulk copy programs uh, bulk copy programs uh, basically if you want to import something in bulk uh, in your database or want to export something particularly useful if your platform is changed for example from uh, linux to macintosh uh, platform or from that to here and uh, if you are not interested into the integrity or the uh, triggers or uh, indexes or uh, because the, what happens is this bcp utility will bypass the server and it works at operating system level therefore it directly access the data pages and directly dumps the data fetch the data and dump that into the file therefore uh, there are advantages and disadvantages so advantages are uh, uh, basically the speed the performance and the is and the diversified options available different type of options available in the utility okay and the only disadvantage probably is that it does not fire any trigger it does not uh, uh, create any uh, indexes or i mean anything related which is activity of uh, your sql server will not be uh, i mean uh, any anything which is only through SQL, the sql server or, or adaptive server enterprise will not be taken care of that is the problem it works at the directly operating system level so when performing database maintenance you will occasionally find the need to export data out of your database tables to an operating system for storage or conversely import data to a table from a file so basically bcp utility is export and import uh, but not small amount when uh, it, it is fast it is uh, uh, performance wise because it is excellent for performance wise therefore it works best when we have the bulk of data very a huge amount of data and again uh, one more point is there if you don't if you want uh, uh, you know for, uh, format independent data type independent means a simple text format then again it is a very good utility so you have the option where you can uh, import or export using character format only although you have the mapping of fields also which I'll discuss you may find yourself needing to do these tasks for data backup or for inserting data that comes from third party exports so third party export here refers to uh, maybe uh, excel csv file or oracle uh, file or any any delimited file so that data can be taken here and can be imported into the tables of sybase asc so sybase makes its process uh, simple by using this bulk copy utility bcp bulk copy program it works directly at operating system level bypassing ASC server therefore triggers are not fired indexes are not created automatically you may have to do these things manually bcp underscore r is a threshold version of uh, a threaded version of bcp you must use bcp underscore r which is threaded version if a security service such as Kerberos or a directory service such as LDAP is used so uh, it is good if if you have LDAP server or Kerberos uh, for or directory server like Active Directory, then you should uh, go for the threaded version which is BCP underscore R. You cannot use a named pipe to copy file in or out. So pipes are not allowed. Using hide underscore VCC, this is option with the BCP. Uh, it improves the performance. Why? Because it will uh, remove that. Uh, a virtual computed columns or it will not transfer those columns it will not take data calculate data from virtual computed columns so vcc stands for virtual computed com uh, columns uh, so improve performance as adaptive server does not transfer and calculate data from virtual computed columns although you can use any tsql command with inserting as an initialization string for the bcp that means you can use select query uh, to uh, export or import the data you must reset possible perma you know permanent changes to the server configuration after running uh, the bcp you can for example reset changes in a separate isql session you can specify multiple partitions or uh, and the data file separate each partition name and data file name with commas so it is a vast utility great utility it give a lot of uh, facilities and features bcp provides a convenient and high speed method for transferring data 
between a table or view and an operating system file. When copying in from a file, in the keyword in refers to import and out refers to export. So when copying in from a file, BCP inserts data into an existing database table. When copying out, so this is the out keyword means export. When copying out to a file, BCP overrides any previous contents of the file. Upon completion, BCP informs you of the number of rows data successfully copied, total time the copy took and the average amount of time in millisecond that took to copy one row and the number of rows copied per second. So you can get the statistics complete after completion of this BCP. BCP does not insert any row that contains any entry exceeding the character length of the corresponding target column uh, table column. So therefore you have to be careful about the uh, length of the column and it will truncate the data while you are importing. This is the case when you are importing. Okay. BCP does not insert a truncated data into the table. So this is what the utility is. Syntax is, uh, uh, in fact, I have removed many options out of this. So you can refer to the manual. If you want, I can share a, a administrator guide which is there with me in the PDF format, a complete PDF uh, guide for the details, the syntax with all the options. Remember the options itself run around 15-20 uh, pages. So uh, BCP, data name, database name, owner name, table name followed by colon if you want to specify partition ID, partition name, in or out that is import or export and the data file where you want to export. Options are a hyphen F format file, hyphen E error file, hyphen D discard file prefix, hyphen F first row, hyphen L last row, hyphen B batch size, hyphen M maximum errors, hyphen N, hyphen C hyphen t field terminator hyphen r row terminator hyphen u username hyphen p password hyphen i interfaces file hyphen s server display character set language lot of options are there let's discuss these some of these options which are uh, important maximum uh, maximum connection so max con maximum connections is a maximum number of parallel connections permitted for each bulk copy of patient default is 10 database name self explanatory owner uh, is optional if you you or the, 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 the database owner owns the table being copied. But if you don't specify the owner, BCP will look uh, first for the table of that name that you own and then look for one owned by the database owner. Table name, partition ID, self-explanatory, partition number, self-explanatory. In and out as the name suggests, in for uh, direction of copy, in indicate the copy from a file into the database table out indicate a copy to a file from the database table or view. Data file means the set of one or more unique data files separated by commas. It is supported for both BCP in and BCP out. That means sending the data to different files. F for format file. This is a little interesting. It is a full path name of a file with stored responses from a previous use of BCP on the same table. Which means that if you have given the format, uh, you have created a uh, file where you answered all questions and you specified the format, then what you can do is you can use this format file instead of answering each of the question again. After you answer BCP's format questions, it will prompt you to save your answers in a format file. So therefore, this is the format file which may be used next time if you want to do the same type of export. The default file name is bcp.fmt. The BCP program can refer to a format file when you are copying data so that you don't have to duplicate your previous format responses interactively. So this will save your time. Error file, full path of the error file. D, discard file prefix, logs the rejected rows into a dedicated discard file. The discard file has the same format as the host file and is created by appending the input file name to the discard file prefix applied. Batch size is number of rows per batch of the data copied. By default, it copies n rows where the n is equal to the batch size. Now, batching applies only when you are bulk copying in. That means it's not applicable for out. And the range is 1 to uh, the very huge uh, number of rows. So, you can supply any value. By default, it will take 4k. Uh, what is your batch size? 
max error is the number of um, error non fatal errors permitted before bcp aborts the copy bcp discard each row that cannot be inserted so counting each rejected row as one error so how many errors are permitted so you can specify that so default value is 10 so it allows up to 10 errors and after uh, that it will uh, abort the copy error hyphen n is perform the copy operation in uh, using native that is operating system format Specifying hyphen n parameter means BCP will not prompt for each field. So whatever the operating system field is, it will uh, uh, take that operating system which is not human readable. Hyphen c character format that means every column will be taken as character type. Field terminator, row terminator, uh, the self-explanatory username, password, interface file, self-explanatory. Let's continue. Hyphen S server name, you know that uh, self explanatory name of the server. Hyphen V display the version of uh, BCP and copyright message and return the operating system. Uh, returns to the operating system. Hyphen A is packet size. Specify the network packet size to use for this BCP session. Hyphen W it specifies that if the server to which BCP is attempting to connect supports neither normal password encryption or nor extended password encryption then plain text password retries are disabled okay so hyphen t text or image size allows you to specify in byte the maximum length of tenth uh, text or image data that adaptive server sends so the default is 32 kilobyte if the text or image field is larger than that value of hyphen t or default the bcp does not send the overflow it will simply truncate that value it will take only first that much value hyphen e explicitly specify the value of the table the identity column you cannot use hyphen g and hyphen e flag together hyphen n skip the identity column hyphen r remote server principle so if you are using principle and slave and principle and mirror then you are talking about principal server not the mirror server it is in applicable in case of mirroring specify the principal name of the server as Defined the security mechanism. Use the hyphen R when the server principal name and the network name are not the same. Hyphen I input file specify the name of the input file. The standard input is used as a default. Hyphen O means output file. So specify the name of the output file. The standard output is used as by default. So that means standard input, standard output. So data will be taken directly from the input from the screen and data will be sent directly to the standard output. If you don't specify these files, hyphen Y, Sybase directory set the alternative Sybase home directory. If you uh, have changed that and uh, this is not default directory, hyphen X, trusted dot text file specifies an alternative alternate trusted dot txt file and hide VCC as I told you. This uh, make virtual computed columns uh, uh, not to copy these. When you use this option in BCP out, the data file contains no data for virtual computed columns. When you use it in BCP in, the data file may contain no data for a virtual computed columns. So this is for VCC. Now so example one copies data from publisher's table to a file named pub underscore out with character data type as the default storage type of all columns in the data file specifying the default field terminator and row terminator the first backslash before r it is actually used for escape because we are working in a unix environment linux environment so that only the backslash one backslash will be printed and will be sent as input to the bcp utility Otherwise, it will be uh, passed by the shell and it will not allow you to insert this hyphen R. So, uh, that means after every record, it will insert a carrier return. So, BCP pubs to publishers out pub underscore out hyphen C hyphen T hyphen R slash R. So, uh, that is the first example. This is a copy data back into the adaptive server using saved file format pubs form bcp pubs dot publishers in pubs out hyphen app pub form. So this way you can copy back insert. Example 3 
copy the data file created with the character set used on a VT200 terminal into pubs2 publishers table and Z flag displays BCP messages in French. So BCP pubs2 publishers in VT200 data hyphen Z ISO1 this is your code for language language code and the character code. Copies partition P1, P2 and P3. So we are copying the partitions to file A and B and C respectively into the work2 data directory. So BCP T1 partition P1, P2, P3 out file is saved as this uh, slash work2 slash data slash 1 and so on and so forth. So we are specifying three partitions. Uh, three files to be created which are A, B and C into the directory. Okay. This is your example 4. Last example is uh, disables application for the BCP connection during the transfer of data from titles.txt data into pubs to titles. So BCP pubs titles in titles.txt hyphen I in string set replication off. So this is basically a command given that. So it will disable replication for BCP connection during the transfer of the data. Okay, so a command can be inserted along with that. And that's all for this uh, BCP utility my friend. I hope you got a fair idea, good idea about the BCP utility. I'll appreciate if you try the commands discussed in these slides so that you get uh, some comfortable, some confidence in working with the commands. Thank you so much.